This video, we're going to finish up the Pro Golfer Achievement in Bankshot Billiards 2. This is for holes 19 through 36. If you need holes 1 through 18 or missed the first video, click the link in the description. This hole's pretty simple. Just be careful not to knock the 8 ball up into the red balls. Also, I've got a fantastic tip. If you hold down the right trigger while you adjust with the Y button, it will let you have much more precise control over your power. I was convinced something like this existed. I thought I had used it before when I would played the game, but I just couldn't figure it out for anything when I went back to it. Thankfully, someone saw the first video, saw my struggles, and decided to help us out here. So hopefully that will help you out as well. This, just start with the one in the corner pocket and then hit the eight ball. The holes right now are pretty simple. You just try to hit them in, use your shots, avoid the red balls. For those of you who didn't watch the first video, red balls add two to your score for touching them, and yellow balls add one to your score if you pocket them. For this one, instead of hitting any of the red balls, I decided to take two shots to line up with the eight and then just try to shoot it in. Otherwise, you could try to hit it out, but I always wound up using more shots when I hit the red balls and if I just avoided them and went around. For this table, instead of hitting red balls again, I'm just going to try to get them. I decided to just get the cue ball around the red balls, line it up with the eight pretty perfectly, and get the shot. Again, be careful that you don't bounce the cue ball up into the reds. For this one, you may find that it takes less shots to go straight through the red balls, but I just, again, went around them. By going around, it only ended up taking two shots instead of more if you hit the red balls. Be very careful with that power on the last shot. It's really frustrating to bounce off that eight and hit some of the reds. For this table, we're again just going to try to get the cue ball around the reds and then go one at a time. Take your time, you have five shots total. That's plenty for this table. Just try to get the one ball out of there, and if you can get it into the pocket, fantastic. If you can't, don't worry about it, because then after you hit the one now, it will line up your blue and red ball shots better. The red ball next to the center pocket is a ball in play and not one of the red negative two balls, so just keep that in mind. Try not to mix them up because it's hard to tell when they're all mashed together on the table which one is the ball in play which is another good reason for going around the red balls instead of trying to go through them. This table's a little busy. Just go right into that yellow and blue ball. I went all in, I sank some yellows, but you only get plus one per turn, so it doesn't come out that much. You have five strokes, just take your time or go all in, whatever strategy works best for you. I was a little frustrated by this point and was trying hitting groups of balls at high power and 
it just happened to work for me. This table also looks a little busy. Just whatever you do, don't hit the reds and you'll have plenty of shots. Be very careful of your yellow balls as well because if they hit, pop back and hit the red, it will still do the plus two to your score. And just a reminder, you can hit the yellows all you want as long as you don't sink them and it won't count as a penalty. So you don't have to actually hit any of these red balls, even though it looks very overwhelming. If you do, you want to make sure you pocket a ball in the process because you only have four strokes and popping a red ball will take two of those, including the stroke that you actually hit the red ball on. So you would have to get one in with the hitting of the red ball, otherwise you wouldn't be able to make par. It's much easier if you just go around and you have the chance of getting a birdie or coming under par. For table 26, that little wave of yellow balls really looks appealing, but you do not have to interact with them at all. As long as you line up your one shot properly, you can easily do the blue ball and the red ball immediately after. It took me several times of trying to line up the one, but it's very well worth it because then you can just shoot both into that corner pocket and it's very easy, no fuss. Try not to sink any of the yellow balls, but at the end of the day, you can afford to sink one. For this table, it's difficult because you have those red balls lined up too perfectly with those yellows. Really, just try to get your cue ball in a good position. Try your best not to hit the reds because it's going to be pretty impossible to do par if you hit them. Feel free to hit the yellows, just try not to let them hit the reds either. For this table, if you do hit the reds and you really need this table to make par total, then it would be worth restarting for hitting a red ball. I got really frustrated for that shot. Um, just hit it at high power and it ended up lining up really well for me. But you see, it took three strokes for that one stroke turn when I could have gone slowly and possibly gotten more out of it. Really just depends on your approach and how frustrated you are when you get to this table. That's really one of the tables that you should keep in mind, that you do not have to make par on every individual table, just par total. For table 31, it's pretty straightforward. Get your cue to the end of the table where you can easily knock in those two corner balls. I just found it easy to do it in the respective corners, but you can really do what you want with this table. There's not much you can get, do to mess it up by accidentally sinking a yellow because they're pretty out of the way. This table also looks overwhelming. I decided not to even try risking putting all the way through it and just get my cue ball around it instead to bring the eight back into that corner pocket. If you would like to go around, you can, but you only have three shots and that just wasn't enough for my comfort zone. 
Also mind your power with the last shot because you really don't want to get that eight ball imperfect and pop right up into the reds. With this table, you can either take your time and try to get both the balls out of that dangerous red zone, or you can get frustrated like I did and just accept the plus two just to get your ball out of there. With this table, as long as you sink both balls in two turns, you can afford to hit red balls on each turn and still get par, or you can be more careful and come in under par. With this one, you pretty much have to hit red balls to get through. I got lucky and my eight ball ricocheted into the pocket. You can take your time and move your eight ball over there and you don't have to actually hit any red balls or you can just get frustrated and get your eight ball out of there so at least you have some breathing room. With this one, I actually figured out that it was easier to hit the top ball and then come down and try to get into that left little clearing next to the eight ball underneath the reds then you can pivot yourself out of that hole left in the reds a reminder if you hold rt while you're adjusting your y it will let you fine tune it and it'll be a lot less frustrating where the ball where the cue ball is right now is where you want to aim for when you're shooting in the eight and then you just get your cue out of that sticky situation and you can sink that stripe ball in the corner Again, watch your power so you don't pop back into the red. This last table is a great relief compared to the ones you've been doing. Just finish it off by knocking in that eight ball Feel free to use the yellows, they don't count unless they go in, and even if they do, you can afford the strikes. So, so just enjoy an easy table. Hopefully by this point, you've been able to get par or under, hopefully by a lot. Um, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any other achievements that you would like me to video, just post it in the comments. Thanks for enduring. This wasn't really... A video that needed audio but as it's a very visual game but gotta do what we gotta do so thanks for sticking around